Hi everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at some more further widgets. We are going to have a look at the container widget, raise button, rows and column. So by the end of the tutorial, we should know how to align widgets with rows and column, how to decorate containers. I have some boiler plates ready here. So as you have my material on that part here, my name, and then all of that and all of that. My home page which is here, and I'm in this build method. I'm within a scaffold, and then I have some up bar here. In the up bar, I'm going to put some title there, so just some title for sure. Title, and I'm going to put a text with it. I'm going to say our pages title. You can actually center the title if you want. You use something like true, true, true. Yeah, in that way, the title will be in the middle, and you will see that when we run them later. Now, the app bar also takes some actions. These actions are generally the widgets you want to put in the app bar. And ideally, I would put in icon buttons. Icon. Button. Oh, sorry. Icon button. Then this icon button is an on press. On press. We are going to make it now for now. And then an icon. Okay. And then I can wait to use icon. Icons. Dot. Done. Okay. So this will be it for the app bar. This compress is what will actually happen when you press this icon button. So we are saying this icon button that you have. When I press, what should be done? But now I'm going to print something. Uh, print you press. Okay, so for now, I are just going to do this. So remember, this, in the previous videos, I said the scaffold takes a body as an argument. You can see how I have a demo with this class here. This class does not exist yet. That's how come I'm having this error. I'm going to go ahead right now and create that class. So I'm going to jump down here and then. So I'm going to press ST. I'm going to press state four with it. I'm going to call it with a name here. You can see how the error is gone. And what I really want this class to do is to return a container for me. The container widget has some amazing properties that I would like to show you. So first of all, let me print out this out. Okay. The container widget is some wonderful arguments. Some of which are heights and decorations and all this stuff. So we're going to start with height. 500 on zero. It takes a double number. And then a width of 400 on zero. So let me run this and show you what to actually have. Okay, so you can see how from the previous app bar I created, what did I put it? It's there. I have our widget title here and it goes here. And I have icons of done and it goes here. Okay, so you are asking me why is our container that I said I've given a height of this and that. What actually is happening is this container is here, but you can't actually see because it's having a white background kind of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, say, let me. Reduce here and then reduce here to so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a color so the container will just take some property for color. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put colors dot red. OK, 
Okay, and you can see how now we have this big giant red whatever here with a height of 500 and then 400 down. Okay, so that was I wanted to show. You can give a height and a width to your container. We'll move on to the next property of the container with it. For now, I'm going to comment out this color because what I want to do now is I want to decorate this container. I'm going to use a property called decoration. And then it takes a box decoration. This box decoration also takes gradient. And this gradient is actually a linear gradient. Which takes colors, all the elements, of course, colors. And then this colors is actually a list of colors. So I'm going to make a list colors. Sorry, list of color. And then these are the colors that I want to use to design my container. So for now, I'm going to say. Colors dot red and then colors dot blue. Because now we have a beautiful background of red which slowly changes to blue. You can actually use more than one color if you want, but in this case, I want to just show how the content of this works. Okay, so let me just remove this height let me comment it out so that our container will occupy the whole of the space available okay so we are going to move on so one thing i want to tell you about is whenever you use this color property you cannot use this else you get an error so let me try that out for you to see then hot reload and you can see how now i have an error saying whatever happened Whenever you're using this color property, you can ignore this other color items here. So you can actually, you can still use a decoration or right? but then you should use an image rather or something else. So that's just a little note. I'm going to comment it out and find it back again. So, okay, so we have this our beautiful container. I'm going to go ahead and show you a widget called the raised button. So I'm going to comment this chart property of the container out. So I want to see what I'm doing in the center of my screen. So I'm going to the center widget. I'm going to take a chart property. Then I'm going to use the widget I talked about, raised button. Okay. It takes an on press. Then a child. A child can be an icon or another widget. I'm going to use a text icon. Okay, so you can see how I have this icon in the center of my screen with a text icon on it. Right now, what I want to do is I want whenever I press this icon, I want to print something to show that it's working. I'm going to print hello again. Okay, so now when I press this, you can see how I have hello again here. The raise button also takes some other elements, and one of them that I want to talk about is the color. I can give some color colors. Dot. And when I refresh it here, you can see how that will change the color of the button has been changed to blue. Okay, so right now, what I want to do is I want to give the text in this button here some color. So I'm going to bring a comma after the text widget and call it style, which is a text style. I'm going to call color. Let's touch white. Okay. So there are other stuff here you can actually check. 
for the font. Now we have font family, font for back, I don't know what that is. Font size, font style, font width, and a whole bunch of stuff. So you can definitely check them out if you want to use them. So I'm going to refresh this. And then we have this our icon with this. You can also increase the size of the font if you want. And I'm going to use font size. I'm going to use 18. Okay, and you can see how it has actually increased. The next thing I want to show you guys is how to use rows and columns in terms of aligning your widgets. First of all, I'm going to start with the row. I'm going to cut all of this out. I'm going to use the column widget instead. It takes children to a list of widgets. And I can put back this. And I can put this. And I can do this. And so when I refresh, you can see how I have all these items arranged in a vertical order, like in sort of a column. Okay, so basically, you know what a column widget does? It arranges your widgets in a vertical order. So quickly, I'm going to change this back. Row. So let's see what happens if I change the column to a row. So actually, the column and the row take the same similar argument, it's just about how they position their children. Okay. So I have a row here, and I'm going to refresh. You can see how my widgets have been aligned in the horizontal here. The children of these buttons, you can actually do them whatever you want. So I'm going to remove this and do it icon and I'm going to call icons dot edit and then when I refresh you can see how the icons have changed and you can actually add some colors to this icon color colors dot white and then refresh and then change it to white okay so the next thing i want to talk about is the method that gets executed when you press the raise button i'm going to create a function here what is function is going to be just right now what i can do from here i can just use this my function and then in this on press tele braces i can put my function here with a semicolon and then now when i restart this and i press this button whose method i've changed to be my function with actually bring some numbers when i hit this button you can see how i've printed this 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 and this okay so guys that will be it for this tutorial so we've been able to cover the container raise button and how to align widgets in rows and columns in this tutorial that follow we will take a look at some other widgets in flutter